win in sports, and the quest to win it starts tonight. Stanley Cup playoffs, EA Sports, the set. Setters both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Oh, what a denial by Gibson. Anaheim's got the puck at center. Gray hits up play in the defensive zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. Quick feed to Debrinkin. Oh, big time save by Gibson. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Moves inside! Stopped by the goaltender. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. A shot, and that's blocked away. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. And that's intercepted by Sider. Blows him up on that hit. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming. And that's what he does with that first hit. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Poked away at center by Petrie. Feeds it on over to Raymond. Here's a pass in front. He scores! What a play! Now your opponent's chasing the game when you get the first goal of a playoff series. You're starting it off sending a clear message that you want it. Detroit's got to be pleased with the way they've started tonight. Look at this. Already the first goal of the game and just try to take that crowd out of it. Well, yeah, and that's exactly what they've done. And that would have been the message from the coach earlier today, James, because you want to make sure that you set the tone, you control the pace of play, and you find a way to get on the board first. The Red Wings have been the better team to this point. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. And some good footwork to kick it away. Leobushkin's moving the puck through his own zone. Detroit's got the puck. Angles it over to Raymond. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Slick feed. Here's a short pass to Petrie. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Takes the feed. Locked him in the open ice. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Wallman. Moves it around along the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Detroit's holding a noticeable edge in the shot department here in the first, and they lead as a result. Henrique's won it in their own end. Slides it diagonally to Silverberg. The Ducks play it along the wing. Quick pass to Fabry. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Driving right to the front. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Red Wings have taken a 1-0 lead. Anaheim's taken possession in their own end. Picked up along the boards by Henrique. The Ducks carry it along the wall. Back at the point, they set it up. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Anaheim's got it in the neutral zone. A chance of the rush here. Fantastic read to break up the play. 
Anaheim gained the line and into the zone. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Headman pass. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And that pass attempt is deflected. Denies him in close. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Dumps it in. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Vetrano. The Ducks looking against the half wall. Grabbed along the board by Fisher. The Red Wings take it across the blue line. Denies it with the pad. The Ducks move it ahead. Oh, what a hit along the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Handles the pass. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Gibson. Moves it quickly over to McGinn. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Jones explores his options in the corner. And he's ridden off the puck. Picked up along the wall by Liam Bushkin. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Huso's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Moves it to Larkin. And that's a great heads-up play by Jones. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. The Red Wings gain possession in their own end. Wayne is across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Here in the late goings of the period, the Red Wings lead it 1-0. Anaheim's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. And loses possession after a solid hit. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. The Red Wings are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those interceptions where they've been in great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. And he had the answer on that play. And now it's grabbed by Gudis. He carries the puck up along the wing. Tosses it on to Silverberg. Quick feed to Henrik. Denies him! Huso dialed in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. Scooped up along the wall by Fabry. How did he stop? I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Kane's got great hands. His puck on his string zone ability means he can stick handle his way into scoring chances. The Ducks come up with a defensive zone draw. Now over to Fowler. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a shot. And there's a save. And with that, I believe that's his first career. Playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. But you know he's worked a lot on this in practice because his hands are an extension of his body here, James. He knows how to manipulate his opponent. He dangles his way to the net, and he doesn't miss. And play resumes as the puck is shot. Digging in for that puck along the wall. Anaheim's got just a few seconds left here with the puck. Quick pass to Terry. Oh my goodness, it's Stavros! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck for weeks since the upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. here, James, but also your awareness. You have to have patience with the puck to draw the coverage to you and then open up that lane for the goal. The Ducks are making the most of their opportunities here in this opening frame with the early lead. Yeah, it's been back and forth play here and they've competed. James has been a good game, but now they get the go-ahead goal so they can play with more confidence. There's the end of 
period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Detroit's got to be happy with the opening frame, James. I mean, they manage the puck. They own possession time. They just have to find a way to convert. They're trailing by one. If they can do that, they'll call their way back in. Made the stop on the play. Looking to set up offensively. Into the corner of the attacking area. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Detroit's got it in their own zone. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Debrink gets such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in-tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Anaheim's looking to break out. Carries it across the line. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. And he takes the pass. Takes the shot. And he turned that one aside. The Red Wings continue to trail early in the second period despite leading in the shot department. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Perron's going to play it against the half wall. And he comes up with it. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. Detroit's got the puck in the defensive end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a short pass to Perron. Receives the pass. From the right side and up the middle. Passes it in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Quick feed down low. Moves it quickly over to Perron. Detroit's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Into the offensive zone. Moves the puck down low. Reaches out and uses the stick. Moves it to Lindstrom. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Fires it on net. Blocked in front. Slides the puck to Bakkenainen. Gains the zone on the left wing. Tries to the crease. Tremendous stop by Husso. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Gibson's going to keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. As a goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play he elects to hold on. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Great save by the goaltender. Just real smart positioning on that one. This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. Past the midway mark in this period. The Ducks lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Offense is on faceoff, and he wins the draw. The Ducks gain the zone. The Red Wings have it against the wall. Quick feed to Costin. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Passed up ahead. Gets the puck over to Gudis. 
Detroit's looking to break out of their own end. Moves the puck across to Costin. Dumps it in. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Takes the feed. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. He got all of that one. Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. The Red Wings scoop it up along the boards. Shot! Takes a shot! Oh, what a glove save there! He read that perfectly! Detroit's been the busier team offensively with way more shots on goal, but they still trail in the second. Larkins won the draw and they're on the attack. Nothing! Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And then this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless misses the net. Sends it in on the attack. Quick pass to Kane. And that's off a stick. Through center along the wing. Taken along the wall by McTavish. Into the corner now. Great defensive effort with the stick. Now he takes it over the line. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. And that's intercepted by Comfort. Detroit's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. You're doing a great job, but this is still a close one. You've got to find a way to generate some offense. And the puck's kicked free. Takes the feed at the point. Turns it away. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Late goings of this period. The Ducks are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Anaheim's won the faceoff. Blast from the point! Save. So 
such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Lots of time left in this period. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3-1 is where we sit. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. And he takes the feed. They've got some momentum here. Great save by Gibson. Here's a shot. Oh, and it's another save on the play. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Larkins won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up Steve. Picked up by Larkin. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. One on one with the goaltender. Not sure what happened there. Oh yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right, but his inability to convert because he ran out of room. Made the stop on the play. There's another consecutive save. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in, he's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. Save. Anaheim's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. Perron's got it into offensive territory. Knocked away. And he takes the dish. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Slides it on over to Perron. Taken by Silverberg. Broken up at center. The Red Wings have been picking off passes left, right, and center. You know the coach is going to like this, but it has to transition to offense because this game's awfully close. Henrique's gaining momentum. The Ducks played along the boards. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Moves it quickly over to Kopp. Solid check to slow him down. Silverberg's got the puck in his own zone. The Red Wings have it now. Husso's last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Picked up along the boards by Walner. And play continues as that goes off the glove. Gibson's been really sharp tonight, James. And just have a look at his save percentage and he's making the stops that he needs to. And man, his team's played well. They've got going north, they've created opportunities, and the reason why they have a healthy lead. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Tried to get 2-2 two -two with it and loses possession. Terry's so difficult to stop in tight and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. And he loses control of the puck. Pushes it across to Matrano. There's another for the hit parade. Dismiss that chance. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Puck grab by Vakaninen. And he gives it over to Matrano. Anaheim's got it along the wall. The Red Wings have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Dabrinkit's lugging the puck. Sends the pass over. Look out! Lindstrom's got the puck. Centering feed! And that's blocked in front! And he takes a shot! That's gloved by Husso. Well past the mid 
midway mark of this period. The Ducks are up 3-1. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Up along the wing. Grabbed along the board by Comfort. Puck picked up by McTavish. Passes it to Strom. Here's a shot. for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Love saved by goalie. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face-off. Anaheim's had a lot of success tonight on their scoring chances and look at the result here late in this third period. The Ducks start with the puck in the road end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Tries to feed it over to Gudis. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick pass across to Gostaspair. Sends it across. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Puts it in deep. The Red Wings gain possession. Picked up along the wall by Comfer. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Anaheim's moving it into the offensive end. Handles the puck. That's blocked. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Slides it quickly to Sider. Shot! Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Detroit's got to dig down and see if they've got a couple more of those on their sticks tonight. If only they could start that way, hey, James? No but they kidding. need to look to finish with desperation and urgency if they want to give themselves an opportunity to even get their tender out. The Red Wings have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Carey's got it in the defensive end. Oh, hello! Comes up with the puck with a quick steal. Nice flick of the stick. Feeds it over to Terry. A shot. Scores! It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in his playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Anaheim's offense has put on a show tonight. And here they are in blowout mode late in the third. The Ducks get a hold of the puck off the draw. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. Terry. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Shuts him down. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. Look, the series is not won or lost with the opening game, but Cheryl, I'd much rather have that one. Yeah, everyone would, but man, I mean, it's such a long season to play, and then you get to the playoffs. You know, there's a different set of nerves, there's energy. You know, you're in a series that's do or die, and you got to figure out a way to get on top. To get that first game under your belt just settles everyone in, and you've got the leg up now on your opponent. Real nice job. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabolski. Thanks so much for joining us here this evening. The playoffs roll on, and we will see you then next time.